Hey, today I'm going to show you how to get unlimited steel, aluminum, gears, and screws. Primarily, I'm sure you're aiming for the gears, screws, and aluminum, but you might be here for steel as well, and if you are, then absolutely great, because I'm going to show you how to do this either way. So let's go ahead and get it done. There are two methods in this video in order to get unlimited junk. The first one I'm going to be showing you today is unlimited steel. In order to do this, I recommend using a mat. You will also want to enable the contractor per card. And I might have said mat, but what I meant to say is blanket. You want to use the blanket and then you want to use one of these beer steins. You can use other items, but by far the beer steins are the best way to do it. You can place down a lot of these on this blanket here. And from there, we're going to speed this up so I can show you the next step. The amount that you are aiming for is 44. If you place 44 of these beer steins, which only takes one steel per placement. So every time you place one down, you're only using one steel, which is absolutely not bad at all. Once you've achieved the amount 44, we are going to make a blueprint. What you want to do is hold down the button to blueprint and then expand it. Then what we're going to do is untap the bottom portion there and just make a blueprint of the blanket and the beer steins. Once we have that, we're going to name it still. You can name it whichever one you want to like. We're going to then store that item, go back to our stored uh, tab right there. We're going to find those beer steins that we just stored. You want to make sure that you scrap every single one of these. For video purposes, I've sped this part up. Just continuously scrap all of those until you're done go to the scrap box or stash box whichever one you have fallout first will lead you to the scrap box without it you'll go to the stash box locate that steel then once it is located go to your pip boy drop the steel only the steel it does not matter about the wood because we're not duplicating that wood or doubling the amount that wood uh, even if you did it's really not worth it because you can get a ton of wood elsewhere we're going to grab the steel out of there I thought it was 22 but nope it's 23 that I need now let's remember guys we place down 44 of those and it's only going to take us 23 steel to plant down that. Before I plant that blueprint, I'm going to need to grab that extra steel. I have it now. Let's go plant down that blueprint. You're going to see it's plantable. Plant it down. It's only going to cost 23 and you literally have 44 pieces of steel right there. We're going to store that blanket and scrap all of that steel down to the brim all the way down to the very last one. And once that is done, you're going to go back to your stash box, retrieve the steel, and you're going to notice that you have 44 steel, even though it costs 23 to plant it down. As we go down, you're going to see that I double the steel indeed this method was discovered by one of our awesome members on our discord that sent me a message and that was hello boy the second glitch you guys are all familiar when i first discovered this and posted it up but we're going to go over something new with this which is the second glitch is to gain unlimited aluminum screws and gears you might have a hard time on pc with this but on consoles you want to place down the tinker station after it's placed down tap store cancel spam that store button as many times as possible i want you to repeat press that until it is popping up that message twice again store cancel and press the store button as many times as possible you're going to see that message pop up twice if you see that message you know you've done it correctly and from there just continuously do it till you have a good amount I'm going to swap over my aluminum as well as my loose gears and the loose screws the reason why I'm taking these out of my stash box is so that you all know what I've actually acquired from doing this glitch instead of just adding it on top now that I have that all swapped over we can finally see what I'll retrieve when I scrap these things down so we go to the store tab you want to find the tinker station start scrapping each and single one of these down then once you get done scrapping that go to your storage or if you're on fallout first go to the scrap box you're going to see that we have aluminum right there 48 as well as 20 loose screws and loose gears if you appreciate the effort in finding these glitches please feel free to subscribe and like that lets me know that you definitely enjoy these glitch videos so yeah with that out of the way thank you and have a wonderful day